Shout out to the world, shout out to y'all, Sherala. He was like Tulsa, Oklahoma. Once again, I heard of the process of death of Babylon the Great. First thing first, head to the east, give all the praise to the Lord too. Yeah, I will. Bye, Shem. I will shine by Shem. I will die. Mr. Patty, you'll be trying to scream in the Bible, the Son of the Spirit. Double honors to the cross of elders of Great Millstone. And shout out to your sister, brother, letting this truth. Shout out to brothers and sisters that's listening and studying, show yourselves approved. Hey, right, we getting to the nitty gritty, y'all, Sherala. As you look, I don't know if you've seen it, if you go to the community tab in my, on my page, in New York City right now, they got National Guard troops, you know, checking everybody back in New York City subways right now. You know, for all the regular citizens, they talking about the migrants, it's getting out of control. So uh, I forgot, it's the governor, I forgot her name. She called for 750 National Guard troops to survey the subway. And like somebody went down on their phone, showed a clip of that. And it looks crazy. I wouldn't want to ride the subway right now, man. It looks worse than getting on the plane. You know, you got military troops with AR-15s all in your bag, all in your stuff, so don't let you have nothing wrong in your bag. You know, especially you're a Jake. You know, they might put the AR-15 right to your head, you know. You, know, you get like, a little pocket knife. Jake like to hop the subway fence and, you know, God. get in for free. Hey, hey, get down. No, no. Yeah, you better not do that now, man. That's right. That scene is, is heavy right now. So with that being said, you know, I'm just waiting on a, a T attack to happen, a false flag event, it's all set up to get more legislation on the board. And so what does all this mean? You know, the false letters been standing for Elka. Man, that's that set up for Jacob's trouble. You know, he saw sneaking in his military. You know, they, uh, what they do, that uh, serpent, you know, he slithers real slowly to his prey in the ground, that's that creeping up. So now you ain't gotta look for the military, they right there. You know, if you're in New York, you get on the subway, you see military troops. That's only going to increase as we move forward. And right now, you know who's under the microscope? The Northern Tribe. You know, the Hispanics. You know, they're down to the microscope right now. First, they're going to be targeted. And you already know how Esau do. Next, he's going to target the Southern Tribe. We're going to get mixed in there, too. They're going to say we some violent niggas. Uh, they always been violent. And you got to think what the migrants say. They all in Chicago, Houston. New York, Cali, and pressure points. You know, that was that was done for a reason. So I was gonna open up with something else, but I'm gonna open up with this right here, because we know what Esau's doing, man. Jacob Trump was set up. Then you got uh Donald Trump about to get off in there. He gonna, hey, I call him AK Mr. Set It Off. Because that's what he's set up to do. He gonna set it off, man. He gonna rile everybody up. Hey, man, let, let a micro do something wrong. They gonna get Trump up there. Trump gonna say, we gotta take America back. Uh, arm up. Man, they gonna have, man, them eating mice, all the militia groups gonna be having their ARs up. Hey, this place about to go crazy. So this is, uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan should get advantage of us if we are not ignorant of his devices. And all this is set up, the MLTB system. Because in the minute, they probably gonna have scanning systems in there, uh, uh, facial recognition. You know, all that's getting set up. The dollar about to crash. All this is leading up to the MLTB and Jacob's trouble. So what Esau wants to do is, you know, the so-called white man, he wants to retrofit you with that, that RFID micro CHIP. And if you refuse that, then he's going to stick the military on you. He wants to make the word nobody's outside of the system. So that, that's where we go on earth. We get to that level. You know, a lot of Jakes try to say back in the day, what, 10, 20 years ago? Oh, man, you've been a conspiracy theorist. Oh, you tripping. Oh, what they say? Oh, oh you fear mongering. Now we look up, you know, Jake look at all big eyes when they see the military troops in New York, like, oh my God, it's really happening. You know, the fuck that said it's gonna happen. It's gonna get worse. New York is just like a, a pilot program. We're gonna see how the public react, seeing military troops. You know, you wake up in the morning, you got your coffee, you know, military troops grabbing your bag, you know, looking all through it. You know, you're a Jake, they're gonna do you extra scrutinized. And what's this right here? You know, don't, hey, don't have no attitude. You know, uh, what's that, National Guard troops, they had no action. And hey, they're gonna stay gun but man. Uh, he, he being violent, man. They're gonna have you down there. Police gonna get involved too. They got military troops behind them. Hey, they, they gonna have every white to do it. Yeah, so they all like, yeah, yeah, uh, little nigga, you thought you tough? I'm about to do you in real quick, you know? And they might just holler, he's got a gun. Hey, you got about 15 military troops. Hop on you, tackle you. Hey, jam you up, beat you up. And hey, it's the setup. Right now, you might say 2024 is the setup to take this trouble, man. Set everything up. Here we is. Here we are, should I 
I say. And now it, it's getting hard to dispute that. You know, I know uh, Bishop Nate, he parked somewhere, stressed out, part smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I'm gonna spin this line now. I, I said it wasn't no Jacob's trouble, now it's here. It's gonna be hard to like spread that mirth. When they probably looking at him like, Bishop Nate, this is New York troops in, in, in New York. What's up with that? And I think dude, he's being police officer in New York. So they probably questioning him. He, he probably trying to, you know, calm it down, buy some more merchandise, get you some more IUIC stuff. And they like, hey man, I'm getting a little weird. You know, so, cause things getting real. So I'm bringing this out right here. Hey, I got a point right quick. All right, go ahead. Hey, hey, um, uh, that situation in New York just gonna evolve into to checkpoints on the street. Right. That's basically what it's gonna evolve into. Okay, well, well, see, you say that, I'm about to go pull it out. Yeah, man. that's second edge where it said, uh, uh, people want to be going into cities and can't. Yeah. yeah. That's them checkpoints right there, man. Yeah, they're gonna, the they gonna make it where they, you're gonna be pulling you out your car and all that. God, that is a checkpoint, because yeah. I heard on the, on the newscast when I heard it, they said, like, this is, you got to go through the checkpoints. And I heard that. I was like, ooh. And I think she didn't want to say it, but she slipped up and said it. So this second edge is 15 and 17. A man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. I even also heard them putting on the books that you got to pay to go in certain parts of the city. You know, like a, uh, like a toll. So that's to cut out people like, you know, ain't got the money or the ends. That movie End Time. Where you Con, yeah, remember that? Con, that's that, coming uh, in the plate. Don't, don't they got a, uh, like, some truck drivers got to pay to enter in, you say to enter into the city? Yep. They got to pay to uh to go to work or something like that, too? They talking about going to a certain part? Yeah, 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 yeah. You that's, know, going into the city, you got paid this checkpoint, you got paid that checkpoint. So that's that scripture coming to life. It said a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. So if you ain't got the money, like it might be like a three three dollars and fifty cent to get in, you know, the district eight. If you like a dude that's barely making it, you ain't, you know, you might be, you, might, you ain't got paid yet. Your paycheck ain't came. Right. So now you can't go to district eight. The high ledger, you, you know, you got a baby mama situation, whatever it is. You got your son got to wait till Friday, <laughs> cause he saw I got a checkpoint three fifty. Go ahead. Hey, and yeah, in, uh, in San Francisco, they um they already got the gates up in certain parts of the city what they did was they they tried to say that they was trying to cut down on prostitution so like on the curbs they got fences up already where they got to walk through gates just to walk around town you know they they already got it set up they gonna have that everywhere you know you ain't gonna be able to move around like you are now uh, it's coming man that was all prophesied in second entries they would get like that and it's gonna like i said they got the gates up it's gonna be a minute before they have uh National Guard troops at the gate, yep. checking you. You know, you probably got to go through a metal detector. They got to patch it down. So, like, you know, little, little Ray Ray think he want to pack his little Glock in his purse and all that. They going to open that purse up. Like, where your papers at for this little Ray Ray? The Ray Ray might get jammed up, man. So you're going to see a lot of Jake get judgment just during them times. Jake want to act the fool. You know, Jake might be like, think they got, that's unconstitutional. I got rights. He's gonna let you know, man, hey, you ain't got no rights, man. The law done changed, man. According to Amendment 13 or, or Bill S-354, right. you know, you gotta get down the ground, gotta search your bag, man. You know, uh, Esau gonna buck up. New revised Constitutional Amendment 28 says, God, <laughs> you can't have no gun. The Esau gonna be, well, the, the, the Constitution, woo woo, and he gonna get jacked up, man. Esau gonna get jacked up. Jake gonna get jacked up, and that's them uh, coming down. That's them getting more control and, and starting to you know, get that B system off the ground. It's, a, it's gonna be more surveillance. I bet at all them fences, you talking about, they probably have block cameras everywhere on the, yeah. on, the, on the fences, you know, at the yeah. checkpoint. They got that out here, man. You know, uh, those, what, those cameras that's on every stoplight, and then they got some that's like on the side of the streets and stuff no, like no. that where they, the those block cameras, cameras that they the, talking uh, about uh, is different. Like the block cameras is, is like um, on a pole like that right there. Yeah. With a with a solar panel and a little like um, ring camera on it. Yeah. That's checking like license plates and, yeah. and facial recognition. Yeah, I got I got, uh they they uh they talk about that here in Tulsa what what they excuse was their their what their way with that to track down to find the criminal that they've been looking for. Recognition as well too. Yeah, that's an act that beat system. You 
know that and then like it's gonna be the point where if you walk through that that, that gate and you know how that Michael CHRP, they're gonna be ding ding unscannable, unscannable. Yeah. They're gonna be hemming you up, like man, why you ain't got that? Only people that can get through this gate, you got the Micro CHRP. If you ain't got it, you can't get in. And see, if Jake ain't got faith in y'all, about y'all shot it, like, oh, okay, I gotta go get it. It's like that one nine situation. Yeah. If you got denied certain rights, if you didn't do it, then you couldn't do it no more, you couldn't get on the plane, uh, you couldn't work this job. They're gonna do it the same way, that Micro CHRP, they wouldn't have been a test pilot for that. And then Esau gonna use his military to enforce it. So you gonna have dudes with guns like, you know, hey, Jake think he can, you know, fight. Oh, they don't let me in. I'm gonna just go, you know, I'm gonna just, you know, smash up on them. They're gonna have about like 10 soldiers on there with the guns on you. Like, man, you better get down due to the bullhorn. Get down! Put your hands up! You know, if they don't comply, they're gonna do that, 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 You know, we gotta protect national security. Everybody gonna have to get down like a prison yard shit. God, out here. When well, you think you got, let's say Jake just harping, he got rights 10 years ago. Now I know him, man, Esau, you ain't got no rights. He's about to strip all that away. And tell you, you gotta get a micro CHRP or else. You know? And what that's gonna lead to, because there's gonna be a lot of resistance to that, or some resistance, should I say, it's gonna be Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that not as like it. It's even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he y'all be safe out of it. So that dad's gonna be like none other, cause you gonna have what, police, uh, dogs, uh, robots, you know, uh, the, the robotic military gonna be set up, like that movie we just watched, I'm gonna do a review on that, Code 8 Part 2, to show the robot dogs, that's what they highlight was on that movie. And they, and they got, and they got to you, you can't forget that they got to the you too. Tulsa University, they, they are, uh, working on those, uh, robot dogs right here in Tulsa now too. Yeah, they got they, they near. It's near. And they rolled it out like a pilot program in New York not too long ago. So in New York I already got the robot dogs on the street with the robot dogs. Wow. And they flew for it. I mean, they signed that in the law. So now that's that's not that watching that movie, you know what I'm saying? It's called Code A Part 2. We got Netflix, check it out. Very spiritual movie. I like the first one better though. But that's like showing you what he's all about to do. He's flexing in his entertainment. Like robot dogs are gonna be very, very common in a minute. You know, they had like them little drones. That's probably gonna call the, uh, the robotic force. Robocop wasn't just a move. Terminate wasn't just a move. They're gonna have that out here. And it's gonna enforce that micro CHIP. You know, and all it takes to try to rebel against that, if you ain't got the spirit of the Lord with you, man, it's not gonna go good at all. You're gonna get smashed out. Uh, this is uh, pretty much the precept of Jeremiah 37. This is Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 14. And it said, Today, the, the great day of the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, is near. It is near. And hasten gracefully, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. And it said, the mighty man there shall cry there bitterly. So the mighty man in this society is none other than Esau Edom. And then you got the Kuki and Ray Ray. They're going to cry bitterly. Okay? And he says, and that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of cloud and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced city and against the high tower. And I will bring I will bring distress upon men that shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung. And then verse 18, it said, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Ooh, that's talking about the coming of the Lord, man. Talking about destruction, the calamity about to bring. That's for your house, shall get her and bring that fire, you know, bring that ultimate destruction. You know, all hell gonna break loose. You know, it's gonna be like the purge movie. And in verse 18, when it said, neither their silver nor their gold shall shall be able, it said, shall uh, be able to deliver them, nor their silver or their gold shall be able to deliver them. So that's that 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 the modern day money system right here. So that 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 dollar bill, the American dollar, is not going to deliver you from the sad perils that that coming in take of trouble. Ah, uh, Rich is a uh, prophet not a day of wrath. Mm -hmm. So all these uh, Jays, they got the million dollars, got the bag, right. Esau. It's not gonna do nothing for you. Only righteousness gonna deliver. Mm -hmm. You know, wisdom, knowledge, and stability. 
will, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, should I say, will bring you the stability you need gonna get through this. That's only gonna lead to deliverance. It's not gonna be, I got the bag, or I know some scientist, or I got this major bunker over here that's high tech. That's not gonna deliver you, man. It's only gonna be the Lord. And like the Lord gonna bring it in, the distress gonna come in with all this, you know, the heat. When a uh, civil war come in, sedition among men come in, cause like the Walmart's not gonna get filled up. So at the same time, the famine, you know, the food famine gonna kick in. That's gonna have men scared. Uh, the jobs gonna shut down. That's gonna have men scared. Like I can't go to work today. You know, if I go outside, I hear gunshots. And so say if all this destruction is coming, and you know, the dude don't know why it's coming. He don't know why everybody out here fighting. Why everybody out here, you know, uh, destroying one another for food and all of that. Now he gonna be in the house like I read in that priest. He gonna be scared. That fear gonna come in. And if he's scared, the whole house gonna be scared. The woman gonna be scared. The children gonna be scared. They gonna ask him what to do here. Yeah, I ain't got no answers. I don't know. Uh, hope the military come in and sort this out. Like he ain't gonna have no remedy because he don't know. He don't know who he is. He don't know what his power is. So he's not gonna be no help to nobody in his household. But like the scripture said, Ox said, uh, he done sinned against the Lord. He don't know the Lord. So he's outside of the house of David. He's not part of the hopeful elect. He's not gonna call the name of the Lord. He don't know the name of the Lord. Or he heard it, he discounted it. Oh, them, them bum niggas on the block. That's that, uh, what they call it? That's that jailhouse knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, he kicking. I don't know how many times I've heard that. God, me too. That's, it. That's what they like to say. Jailhouse knowledge. So he done discounted it. And they, like Jake's so oblivious. All this stuff is happening. And Jake is still going through, uh, you know, the young still got on their hoodies, chased the bag. Right. You know, they still out in the world. Even though, you know, he's setting up. He's setting up. And, and Jake out here still partying. So when it hits him, because it's going to be all of a sudden. It's going to be suddenly. Like, he's going to strike like a snake. It's going to be like, bang! You know? Then they're gonna be all crying. Oh, what, what are they doing that? Okay, my phone ain't working. I can't even call for help. You know, blowing snot bullets. And they're gonna be just tripping out. Yeah, I got another one real quick. This is Joel chapter 2 and verse 10, which is gonna drive the point even further. It said the earth shall quake before them. All right, and so when the Ark mentioned that it's gonna be all of a sudden, it's gonna be unexpected. That's what it's talking about right here. It said the earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. All right, and that's gonna be when the uh when when all uh, when all hell break loose, they're gonna start shooting those missiles. All right, and it says, and the Lord shall utter His voice before His army, for His camp is very great, for He is strong with them that executed His word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Well, the Lord is great and very terrible, and they said, who can abide it? We know that. We can answer that. The old flesh can abide it. We we hoping for that day. We hastening for that day. But woe to those that are of, you know, this society, this world. That's going to be a day of terror to them. I mean, they're going to be crying. I mean, you're going to see a six foot eight, 250 pound dude turn to a straight punk, man. You know, because the day of the Lord is terror. You know, who we thought didn't exist does exist. When Yahweh Shah starts to make his presence known, you know, getting close and cracking them skies, if you get close and close, you're going to feel that rumbling. That's going to scare them, man. They're not ready, man. These women, you know, Eve talked that proud stuff. I'm a boss chick. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a savage. Man, like, Jake, I want to talk that savage stuff. Like, okay, you a savage. Let's see when they get real savage. Let's see then. You know, when ain't no food out here. And he saw running around with that gun in the back of them trucks looking for Jake's. We'll see if you savage then. You know, so I got a uh, precept. Hey, Shalom to the Ark, hope, grace, and mercy. You got a good one, man. This is Jeremiah 15 and 3. And it says that on a point over them, for a kind, said the Lord, the sword to slay, and dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. So when this thing get bad, man, he said the sword to slay. Man, he saw about to go straight crazy. When he see his kingdom collapse. When his kingdom collapse, man, if Esau see a Jake, hey, he gonna let off a whole clip in him, man. Just the fact that he lost his kingdom. That's all Esau got. Ain't no hope, ain't no nothing else for Esau to look forward to. Like as a, as a, as a Jake, evil is like, we got the kingdom to look forward to. Esau don't. So when his little kingdom go, you best believe he gonna lash out very, very rough and harsh, very brutal. 
He's still gonna turn back the clock and go to that 1600 spirit. You know, and he said, dog the terror. And my ox said he seen a wolf in a very, very urban area, man. A whole wolf. You know, these wolves when the food supply gets short, you know, wolves and dogs gonna be hungry. Like people gonna let their dogs run around. You no know, dog ain't ate, dog used to eat. He gonna taste the blood, man. Think he gonna stop. So some people might get judged, but it might be a pack of 15 dogs. <laughs> Hey, Lord got it where, hey, you tripping, falling, hey, that's what they say on uh, Friday. There <laughs> y'all have it, post, man. <laughs> you know? He said, the beast of the earth? Like I said, we got to think about these zoos, man, when all hell break loose and ain't nobody maintaining these zoos. Them lions, they going to get out. It was a priest that said the uh, teeth of wild beasts will change their places, man. God. And, and they will, man. Yeah, real quick, that's it all. This is Amos chapter 5 and 8, which I said that. He said, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And he said, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Yeah, so it ain't gonna be no rest. You know, if you ain't in the house of David, it's gonna be all chaos, man. Everywhere you run, you gonna probably see somebody get, you know, sliced up, uh, lit up. You run over there, some gang over there. You run over there, some militia group over there. Military troops over there, there's gonna be all the war. All these facts is gonna be fighting for uh, supremacy. Cause it's gonna be like a vacuum. Esau gonna be trying to hand out the micro CHIP. That'll work for a minute, but after a while, you know, you got China like, you know what? We the superpower. Russia gonna be like, nah, we the superpower. Proud boys, this group's like, nah, this is my America. We fight for, you know, Make America great again. We the superpower. Then you got Jake's over there, little right right now. Hey, it's Hoover over here. You know, we run the block now. And it's gonna be this chaos. It just shows you like it ain't gonna be nowhere to run to really be safe. Man, that, that remind me of uh, Psalms 91, man. It said 10,000 shall fall out. I said a thousand shall fall out the outside and 10,000 at our right hand, man. We're gonna see calamity at an all-time high when that time comes. And it says, but it shall not come nigh thee. And that, that's talking to the ones who have the glory, how about Shimei Asha, and who rest in him. Otherwise, hey, you're going to be a part of that thousand or that ten thousand on the right hand. Nah, judgment will go out, you know, very, very plentiful, you know, a lot. You know, that's what you're going to hear at night, gunshots and screaming and hollering. When Jacob's trouble fully comes to a bloom, and it's, it's right here upon us. You know, when Trump get in, all it takes is one look, one little thing. One little thing to set it off, man. All it takes him to get out there, do a speech, fill itself, uh, tell his uh, his following to go do something to all the black people you see. Or first, the first is gonna be the Hispanics, the migrants. They're gonna tell them, hey, go attack them. They're doing this, they're violent. Uh, are you soft, you weak? You gotta protect the women and your family. You know, hey, go do something about that. You know, men back then, they fought for this country. Where y'all at, man? Are y'all men or what? So then all the Edomites we work with, you know, the, the older ones, the ones that got some, you know, the swords, because he saw them slaying that thing in, in vain. And they're going to get that, man. They're going to go hunting again, man. They're going to do it like uh, Black Wall Street. They're going to do it like Rosewood. That was Punch Bowl. They're going to try to eliminate as many children of Israelites as they can. All they see. Uh, this is the... Uh Real quick, since y'all said that, since y'all are close, because Dar mentioned that a uh, thousand, ten thousand gonna be at that right hand, they're gonna be slain before then. He said, uh, the, the, the trust is coming out of This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4 and 17. Because he said, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh by Jimmy Shah. And he said, And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Jimmy Shah? Right? And then, and then verse 18, it says, And if the righteous carefully be saved, where shall the ungodly in the center appear? All right? And then that's what the ox for God just mentioned earlier. He said, 10,000 that our right hand and our left hand shall fall before thee, but that destruction come not thee. And that answers your question right there. Those who disobey the laws of Yahweh, the Yahweh, the Yahweh, the Yahweh, the is going to be the one that be slain right before, you know, uh, right, right in front of him, pretty much. They said, the, the righteous scarcely be Saves. And the right scripts can be saved. If you are straight, you know, you just out there, you you call yourself a black person, African American, right. you're not gonna make it. The question say you're gonna be bad, you're gonna be slain. You're gonna be destroyed out here. Starved to death. Uh 
messed up by whatever little, you know, little faction that they find you. That's how it's going out here, man. So I got another one. If he saw, he, he gonna be the main hunter out here. Cause he, he was main, he was, he was known to be a, uh, what's that say? A uh, cunning hunter. But he saw this, so he saw gonna be hunting. Without hell break like he did in uh, New Orleans. Yep, <coughs> yep, but that when the law, that when martial law declared. And so when martial law declared, that means the, the civilized law is, not, is uh, null and void. He saw I went to hunting on Jake. Yep. That's why, that's why they're going to have to get, up, get away with it. And that's why those, those guys that happened there in the uh, Hurricane Katrina, what you talking about, that's why they was able to get away with it because the laws wasn't in effect during those times. Mm -hmm. All right, it is. Martial law to initiate that. They're going to do that with this micro crisis. So I'm going to bring this right here. This is Psalm 37 to 12. The wicked plot up against the just and gnash upon him with his teeth. So all these little plans, all the stuff we see going on, this is all plotted, man. This is planned out. You know, Esau is cashing out. You got major uh, high millionaires, billionaires pulling their money out their own bank. That's how you know it's over with. But they pulling money out the bank, it's a wrap. And it said, uh, plot against the just. What's the just? That goes into the whole elect of Yahweh Bashiach Rashad. It said, Nash upon him with his teeth. Back in the day, you know, they got a lot of people with guns say, hey, man, we armed to the teeth. You know, um, that, that that goes into the military force they're gonna have. So Esau gonna look to gnash upon the children of Israel using his military. That's why he's sneaking them in now. That's why he got them in New York. He gonna test them out. He gonna bring them in Cali, and he gonna bring them to all the other states, man. Right? So if Jake get out of line or don't want to get that micro CHIP, hey, he gonna seek the gnash on you with his teeth, man. Right? Tell him take him out back, earn him out. I don't have time for that. Oh, I'm gonna get it here. I'm gonna get it later. No, you get it now. Or we're going to put some high lead in. It's going to come down to our faith right there. we got to stand stiffly for your high by shot. Like, hey, man, I ain't getting it, man. Do what you got to do. They're probably going to like firing squads. They're probably going to line Jake up, blindfold it. You're going to hear the little shots going off, and they're going to bump you up in the line. And they're hoping you're going to get scared. Say, hey, man, hey, I'm going to get the micro CHIP. Don't do me like that. So we got to be ready to, like, hey, lay our lives on the line. That's the devil going. He going. He going to put it out there. Go ahead. Officer. Hey, when you said the uh, the firing squad, they already got that. They going. They already uh, put summary executions in the law. That's basically once they find you guilty, they just going to take you out back. They ain't taking you nowhere. You going straight to the to the uh, meat wagon. I they blast. You. I can see that because they going to get rid of the all hell breaking loose. Ain't going to be no prisons. Yeah. So we going to drop you. Are you gonna go get that thing right here and there? Choice is yours. Go get it. You can stay in my 15 minute city where there's food, water, uh, electric power. You know, you got safety. You can, all right, you can, you can go to it. Yeah, prisons, that's gonna be for the people that think they can re educate. If you, if you beyond that, if you're on the blacklist, they ain't, they ain't gonna waste their time with you. I think if you're on the red list, they ain't gonna waste their time yeah, with you. That's the one where they just take you off back. Yeah. Yeah. Red and black. Only one they're gonna uh, re-educate is the blue. Yeah. Yellow means you already ready. <laughs> and I found that too. What's so interesting? The yellow list only contains Edomites. There is no uh, people of color that's on the yellow list. That's only they let you know this is for Esau's system. Only the yellow be on the yellow list. You gotta be an Edomite and you gotta have a, the micro CHIP and juice stuff. Then you on the yellow list. Everybody else automatically going to the, uh, the blue. You know, Buzz, we on the red. You know, outspoken uh, uh, ministers. So we are on the red. They they know that we not going, ain't no re-education, man. I'm, I'm landing all the line for y'all about y'all shop. And they know that. We on record saying that. So they like, man, take them out back. Get that, uh, that Michael T.A. Shop You know, and that, that's how you got to stand up. You got to come in there example like what y'all was shot there. Get you behind me safe. Okay, that's the, that, that's the mindset you got to have when it comes to these, uh, these devils, you know, trying to, uh, persuade you into taking that device. Yeah, I got one. Hey, this is on Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. And, and that's what we're banking on. We got our total faith in what this word is the truth. Right. You know, we, we like I said earlier, we picked our side. You know, we're going to stay faithful to it. Real quick, this is uh, Matthew chapter 24, 
and verse 29. And it says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. And right here when he says the stars shall fall from heaven, it's going to come by those, nu those nuclear missiles. All right, and it says, And the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall appear the signs of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with the power and with power and great glory. And he says, And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven and to the other. Alright? And see right there when the when Barak said that we, we're basically banking on the uh the signs of heaven to come to sift uh save us out of that. That's what he's talking about. Yahweh Shah is gonna come and gather his elect while in the same time he's gonna destroy this this uh this kingdom, America aka Babylon the Great. And it's so right when uh in the Ark Tayatrali mentioned this earlier right here and in verse 32 he said now learn a learn a parable of the fish tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leave, ye know the summer is not. So likewise Ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. Really, I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these be fulfilled. And he said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass. And he said, and he said But of that day and hour knoweth no man, and not the angels of heaven, but my Father. But at that day of no, where so shall also the coming of the Son of the man be. All right, and so it's a comparison of the day of uh, Noah when he entered into the ark, okay? And so there was no warning in between. So soon, soon Noah went into that ark and closed the door, that's when the flood came. And so it's the same scenario when Yahweh Shai is going to come. So he's going to gather his elect. And soon as the door closed on his elect, then that destruction is going to come right then and there. I'm going to make a point on what you just said. I when the word you put up, when the favor of the word come in, that's the door of that heart closed. Because right. right now the door is open. The door of repentance is open through what? Through the prophets, man. We're putting the word out. The, the word is going out, you know, through the atmosphere. Jake, he, Jake got time to repent right now. And once we get put up and Esau bans the Bible and it, it's too much hell for us to come out the highway hedges, that's that rain. Right. It's going to be like a storm out here. And it's going to be like the troops going to be out here like a storm troopers, man. Military troops. It's going to be a UN troops. Uh, Russia, China, all kinds of troops activity out here, man. They're going to be straight unaliving people. Yeah. And like right now, like I said, the warning is going out. We tell them it's about to rain because, you know, nothing like, you know, America ain't never been touched like that. Jake all like, man, man, America got this military. Yeah. We got F-18s and uh, we got all kinds of nukes and our military is the strongest. Well, nobody there, you know, touch touch uh soil over here and i'm telling jake like you old ignorant dummy don't you know the migrants coming in is you in troops with that you already been invaded so hey best believe it's gonna rain man if you know like i know better have your butt in that house you don't want to be outside when like a category five about to hit but that's about to happen to the two-thirds jake man they about to be outside you know they outside what they say i'm outside thugging i'm like all right all right Keep that same energy, you know, when y'all was shy, you know, get ready to open up. The first thing he gonna open up with is gonna be Esau. Because what's that, Revelation chapter 12, the devil couldn't have a great ride. Because he know what's up. Esau like, I done lost my kingdom. I'm losing. You know, Esau looking on what's that, uh, NASA, they saw that they, they see the chariots in the sky. But like what's that, Congress talking about the chariots and stuff? Like, Esau already know, like, destruction is coming. Esau already know, like, man, we done lost it, you know. You know, that they say it really is coming. Like, Esau, no. So he's looking at Jake. That's why they got all these distractions going right now. We're talking about that now. The boxing, the NBA, NFL, they, they, they going crazy with the distractions, too. You can hear stuff like, come on, man. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah I got your name, Jake doing some crazy TikTok trend and kind, all of kind. that. You know, that's them running that distraction. He trying to set up his little, you know, his little MB system infrastructure. Y'all good. And uh, he's trying to make sure, like, Jake stays under that strong delusion. That way, uh, we be easy work. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to worry about them. Because the threat, like Revelation uh, chapter 12 will tell you, the threat is uh, those, the remnant, the hope we lack, those that keep the commandments of Yahweh Bashiach, Shai got the testimony. That's the threat. They're like, he, he coming for those. They calling on him and he coming. So he saw in great fear. He see the order coming in. 
Yeah, I can you get that uh Revelation 12 and 17? And that he just bucked it down. I got another preacher out of hell, so back you up too. I'm gonna uh read that preacher up after you done, huh? Okay, okay. Uh, you, you go yeah. you keep keep going up. Okay, uh who was the point I'm making? Oh yeah, on destruction about to open up, man. Cause he saw about to get it popping off because he's losing his kingdom. So he's gonna be angry. You know, and the ones that's gonna get caught out there is the Jake that's just oblivious to everything. You know, don't even know what's going. Ain't even try. Hey, like back, uh, what was that? They called him uh, their Uncle Melvin spirit. You know the prophets yeah, yeah, out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you seen that? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're trying yeah. to give out the spirit. He over there, man. Shut that stuff up, like man. Like hey, you need to have your bus sent down, so they're about to open up. And uh, Uncle Melvin was drunk too. It looked like he was hey, drunk. Literally drunk. What they say? Uh, drunk. Mm -hmm. Saw this. Mean to be drunk. He, he on that Babylon juice. Right. Cause he get him a fifth, he he think he in good standing. Right. So he trying to tell the prophets like you say, see not and shut up. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm having a good time over the block. Y'all are messing my buzz up. You know, but they really trying to warn you, give you what you need so you get eternal salvation. Yeah. But Jake, that's to let what they say, wisdom is too high for a fool. Right. <laughs> you can't, you don't go up real, that high. Real quick, <laughs> before you read that, all, cause this this was you were breaking it down, Matthew 24 and 38. And it said, for as in the day that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that no entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the, son, the coming of the son of man be. And it said, then shall two be in the field and one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill and the one shall be taken and the other left. And it said, watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour the Lord doeth come. Mm, he said, watch, you don't know what hour the Lord coming. So that means get ready, get prepared, be prudent. Right. You know, don't be like, like we just said earlier, Uncle Melvin drunk. Right. You know, they drinking, partying. You know, Jake's still trying to, Jake turning up in their little plants of Christianity churches. You know, they were putting a pancake syrup on the Bible. You know, it's making a mockery. And I'm like, man, it's real stuff going on right now. Y'all listen to this fool. And he over here doing jokes. You know, he making everything his games and stuff. Shit, that remind me uh, of that parable in Matthew 20, man. Because right now is the 11th hour. You should be trying to get in while you can fit in, man. But all these distractions is out. You know, people over here standing idle, who just, you know, caught up by the distractions. I'm going to get there real quick first before I get that on. Hey, it was Jake's in church actually pouring syrup on the Bible? Yeah. Michael Ty. Yeah, yeah, Michael Ty. Yeah. When he said eat the word, nah, yeah. Yeah. You know the scripture say eat the word? Yeah. He he mocked that by like, oh, you gotta eat the word. Man, he 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 a showman, man. Straight, straight up. Yeah. If you really think about it, like uh, go really what when he said eat the whole roll, what he's talking about is that when he said eat the whole road, yeah, it's that 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 not literal, okay? Because if you actually look up the meaning of eat and learn, they both do a similar definition. So you gotta think about the time of Darren Ezekiel, the word learn was not in effect. So they had to be like, you gotta eat, or well, well, you gotta eat, you know, you gotta eat that. And so basically saying consume. So eat and learn have their similar definition of consume. And so basically when you learn, you're consuming the knowledge. It's the same as when you eat food, you're consuming it. And so that's what he meant by uh, eat the whole roll. He meant to learn the whole book, okay? Because the history behind eating the whole roll is this right here, the Bible wasn't in the, in the form of a book, okay? It was in the form of a scroll. Just like when you buy a, per, a poster, you know, it, it comes in a, in a roll. Rolled up. Yeah, it's rolled up. Yeah, it's so rolled. that's what he meant. He's like, eat the whole roll, meaning eat the, learn the whole book, consume the whole knowledge. That's what he meant. But, yeah, you know. The scroll. And see how you broke that down? Yeah. If he was a real man, Lord, he should have broke down to his congregation. They do got a mega church. Right. But instead, what he did was, he sat there and pulled syrup like he made a whole mockery of it. That's yeah. what I said. Something bad gonna happen to do. Mm -hmm. He pulled syrup and whipped cream on the Bible and act like he about to eat it. And I'm there and they're laughing. Ha, ha, ha. But I'm like, man, you got troops in New York. You got all this serious stuff going. World War III about to pop off. And y'all listen to this nigga mm -hmm. make a straight mockery and a joke. And I'm like, everybody in that church, that congregation is dead. Right. They well, ain't this, about to make it. It's the same thing in the, in the um, Garden of Eden. When the Most High told them not to eat from the the tree of good and evil is yeah. basically they wasn't like they uh they got it you know esau got him eating the apple but it wasn't nothing about actually putting anything in your mouth it's not to learn the ways of the people over there yeah yeah because that that's yeah. why and that's why that uh the christian church when it comes to the uh the garden of eden a lot of people think that adam and eve was the first two people on earth yeah but if you really read from the beginning 
the Lord literally said in the Genesis, uh, the, what the, uh, I want to say one chapter, the first chapter in the 26th verse, where he said, let us make men and, and, uh, and then he told them to go forth and multiply. It that was, was on the, it was on the fifth Eve. day. And so that's what he was talking about. So there was other people around Adam and Eve. They just didn't, you know, they just didn't have a name. It was just, it was just, Adam and Eve was the first people to, to receive the knowledge mm -hmm. from Yahweh about him, Yahweh Shai. That's what they were the first and people the to do. And the spirit, the spirit yeah. Uh -huh. Remember he said he made he created the male and female right. before he got to Adam and Eve. Uh -huh. You know? Yep, said, that's exactly. yep. break down. And then he and then he gave him a commandment and said, go forth and multiply. And uh -huh. so and that went on for a thousand year period. So how many people you think was on earth before Adam and Eve? Hey, when they when they said uh he made Eve from his rib, yeah, and he was and she was gonna be the you know the bone of his bone and his flesh. That basically if you read on into the Bible. That basically just means that you're gonna be from my family. Yeah. You know, so that lets you know that Eve didn't actually come from a rib that he took out of, you know, Adam's body, but she came from the same family line that he came from. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Same thing. She was made for him. Remember, she's a helpmate made for him. Yeah. Elder Elder Watson, Yashawama, and GMS Dallas. He broke it down perfectly. He got a ton of lectures about that. Yeah. He liked that one. He yeah, liked that. Yeah. One. So they said we get the correct breakdowns from the you know the real men of the Lord. Right. First they ain't playing they ain't getting they getting folly right now. You know, straight folly. Then right now you said what? Folly is selling great dignity. And the rich is in the the low yeah. place. Uh -huh. This is why we we're pretty much the rich that sit in the low place, and this is why they annoy us. You know? They wanna listen to the rich man, and he ain't giving them nothing, man. He giving them straight BS. Right. And then like I said. They can talk about the open up, man. You can like vividly feel it. So I'm like, everybody in there is spiritually dead. Cause if you had a lick of sense, you like, man, hold up, man. I'm about to listen to them brothers on the block, man. They think they hitting on something. I'm actually learning something. Right. This dude here is doing a whole show. The right. world though, they want that though. They want smooth things. They want to be, they want to be prophesied lies and deceit. That's the scripture said. Right. Nah, they want the entertainment, you know, but they gonna get it, man. But they can trouble here. It's gonna be like the greatest action movie. Never made it's gonna be war. Let's say this is war about to come out of this, right? And the war is on Jake. And Jake don't even know it. Let's say this dude got the church from the Edomite and they just been set up like a uh, straight snare or a trap. And the Lord, man, he set all that up, man. So a lot of Jake's ain't gonna make it. Right now it's like a uh, Pacific. You know, it's proven. It's proven ground. You know, who with me, who not with me. Those that's with me, they making the moves to clean themselves up. Those that's not with me, they in them churches, man. Get ready for the, you know, getting fattened up for the slaughter. They in there eating, literally eating food. You know, Keisha eating like, you know, ain't no tomorrow. You know, she get all the food stamps in the world. <laughs> hey, the, the, the one thing that, that really, you know, draws them to those hirelings like that is the stuff that we're talking about, it requires them to change. Yep. And that's the one thing that they don't want to do. They want to keep on you know, enjoying their sins because they, you know, they like what they get out of the sins that they're committing. But what we're telling them, do no, you got to turn it back to your Howard shop. You know, turn back to your Howard. But they, they don't want to drop the things of this world that they like to do. Crazy. They rather give up their salvation for that. That's a damn shame to me. And they're and they gonna feel it by pain. That's why they're gonna know the fear of the Lord. See, they don't fear the Lord. Really, they think everything we say, like man, y'all been saying that for years. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. I'm about to eat my pig feet. I'm about to go mess with a little Ray Ray chick. I'm about to go sell me some drugs. Get that uh, that Michael T.A. Shop You know, and that, that's how you gotta stand up. You gotta come in there example like what y'all was shot there. Get thee behind me, Satan. Okay, that's the, that, that's the mindset you gotta have when it comes to these, uh, these devils, you know, trying to uh, persuade you into taking that device. Yeah, you know, I got dude. one. Go ahead, huh? Hey, this is on Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. And, and that's what we're banking on. We got our total faith in what this word is the truth. Right. You know, we, we like I said earlier, we picked our side. You know, we're going to stay faithful to it. God. And, and real quick, this is uh, Matthew chapter 24. And verse 29, and it says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, 
and the stars shall fall from heaven. And right here, when he says the stars shall fall from heaven, he's going to come by those, nu those nuclear missiles. All right, and he says, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the signs of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with the power and with power and great glory. And he says, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven and to the other. All right. So right there, when the Moroc said that we, we're basically banking on the uh, the signs of heaven to come to sip, uh, save us out of that, that's what he's talking about. Yahweh Shai is going to come and gather his elect, while in the same time, he's going to destroy this this, uh, this kingdom, America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. And it's so all right when uh, in the Ark, Teyatrali mentioned this earlier right here, and in verse 32, he said, Now learn a, learn a parable of the fish tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leave, ye know the summer is not. So likewise, ye when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the door. Really I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these be fulfilled. And he said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass. And he said, he said but of that day and hour knoweth no man and not the angels of heaven, but my father. But at that day of no, what so shall also the coming of son of the man be. All right, and so it's a comparison of the day of uh, Noah when he entered into the ark. Okay, and so there was no warning in between. So soon, soon Noah went into that ark and closed the door, that's when the flood came. And so this is the same scenario when Yahweh Shai is going to come. So he's going to gather his elect. And soon as the door closed on his elect, then that destruction is going to come right then and there. I'm going to make a point on what you just said. I when the word get put up, when the fame of the word come in, that's the door of that heart closed. Because right. right now the door is open. The door of repentance is open through what? Through the prophets, man. We putting the word out. The, the word is going out, you know, through the atmosphere. Jake, he, Jake got time to repent right now. And once we get put up and Esau bans the Bible and it, it's too much hell for us to come out the highway hedges, that's that rain. Right. It's going to be like a storm out here. And it's going to be like the troops going to be out here like a storm troopers, man. Military troops. It's going to be a UN troops. Uh, Russia, China, all kinds of troops activity out here, man. They're going to be straight unaliving people. Yeah. And like right now, like I said, the warning is going out. We tell them it's about to rain because, you know, nothing like, you know, America ain't never been touched like that. Jake all like, man, man, America got this military. Yeah. We got F-18s and uh, we got all kinds of nukes and our military is the strongest. Well, nobody there, you know, touch touch uh soil over here and i'm telling jake like you old ignorant dummy don't you know the migrants coming in is you in troops with that you already been invaded so hey best believe it's gonna rain man if you know like i know better have your butt in that house you don't want to be outside with like a category five about to hit but that's about to happen to the two-thirds jake man they about to be outside you know they outside what they say i'm outside thugging i'm like all right all right Keep that same energy, you know, when y'all was shot, you know, get ready to open up. The first thing he gonna open up with is gonna be Esau. Because what's that, Revelation chapter 12, the devil couldn't have a great ride. Because he know what's up. Esau like, I done lost my kingdom. I'm losing. You know, Esau looking on what's that, uh, NASA, they saw that they, they see the chariots in the sky. But like what's that, Congress talking about the chariots and stuff? Like, Esau already know, like, destruction is coming. Esau already know, like, man, we done lost it, you know. You know that they say it really is coming. Like Esau, no. So he's looking at Jake. That's why they got all these distractions going right now. We talking about that now. The boxing, the NBA, NFL. They 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 going crazy with the distractions too. You can hear stuff like, Come on, man. yeah, like yeah, got that Jake doing some crazy TikTok trend and kind, all of kind. that. You know that's them running that distraction. He trying to set up his little, you know, his little MB system infrastructure. Y'all good. And uh, he's trying to make sure like Jake stays under that strong delusion. Right. That way uh, we be easy work. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to worry about them. Because the threat, like Revelation uh, chapter 12 would tell you, the threat is uh, those, the remnant, the hope we lack, those that keep the commandments of Yahweh Bashiach Shai got the testimony. That's the threat. They're like, he, he coming for those. They calling on him and he coming. So he saw in great fear. He see the order coming in. Can you get that uh, Revelation 12 and 17? That, he just bucked that down. I got another preacher out there. He'll back you up. I'm going to read that preacher after you're done. Huh? Okay, okay.
Uh, you, you go. Yeah. You keep keep going up. Okay. Uh, what was the point I'm making? Oh yeah, on destruction about to open up, man. Because he saw about to get it popping off because he's losing his kingdom. So he's gonna be angry. You know, and the ones that's gonna get caught out there is the Jake that's just oblivious to everything. You know, don't even know what's going. Ain't even try. Hey, like fact, uh, what was that? They called him uh, their Uncle Melvin spirit. You know the process yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, 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 you seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah they're trying yeah. to give out the spirit. He over there, man, shut that stuff up, like man. Like you need to have your bus sent down, so they about to open up. And uh, Uncle Melvin was drunk too. It looked like he was hey, drunk. Literally drunk. What they say? Uh, drunk. Mm -hmm. Sardis mean to be drunk. He, he on that Babylon juice. Right. Cause he get him a fifth, he he think he in good standing. Right. So he trying to tell the prophets like you say, see not and shut up. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm having a good time over the block. Y'all are messing my buzz up. You know, but they really trying to warn you, give you what you need so you get eternal salvation. Yeah. But Jake, that's too low to say, wisdom is too high for a fool. Uh, <laughs> you can't, you don't go up real, that high. Real quick, before you read that, because huh? this this was, you were breaking it down, Matthew 24 and 38. And it said, for as in the day that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that no entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the, son, the coming of the son of man be. And it said, then shall two be in the field and one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill and the one shall be taken and the other left. And it said, watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour the Lord doeth come. He said, watch, you don't know what hour the Lord cometh. So that means get ready, get prepared, be prudent. Right. You know, don't be like, like we just said earlier, Uncle Melvin drunk. Right. You know, they drinking, partying. You know, Jake's still trying to, Jake turning up in their little plants of Christianity churches. You know, they were putting a pancake syrup on the Bible. You know, it's making a mockery. And I'm like, man, it's real stuff going on right now. Y'all listen to this fool. And he over here doing jokes. You know, he making everything his games and stuff. Shit, that remind me uh, of that parable in Matthew 20, man. Because right now is the 11th hour. You should be trying to get uh -huh. in while you can fit in, man. But all these distractions is out. You know, people over here standing idle, who just, you know, caught up by the distractions. I'm going to get there real quick first before I get that on. Hey, it was Jake's in church actually pouring syrup on the Bible? Yeah. Michael Ty. Yeah, yeah, Michael Ty. Yeah. When he said eat the word, nah, yeah. Yeah. You know the scripture say eat the word? Yeah. He he mocked that by like, oh, you gotta eat the word. Man, he he is he a showman, man. Straight sure. up. If you really think about it like uh, go really what when he said eat the whole road, what he's talking yeah, about. That's what he was using. That when he said eat the whole road, it's not literal, okay? Because if you actually look up the meaning of eat and learn, they both do a similar definition. So you gotta think about the time of Darren Ezekiel, the word learn was not in effect. So they had to be like, you gotta eat, or, or you gotta eat, you know, you gotta eat that. And so basically saying consume. So eat and learn have their similar definition of consume. And so basically when you learn, you're consuming the knowledge. It's the same as when you eat food, you're consuming it. And so that's what he meant by uh, eat the whole row. He meant to learn the whole book, okay? Because the history behind eating the whole row is this right here, the Bible wasn't in the, in the form of a book, okay? It was in the form of a scroll. Just like when you buy a, per, a poster, you know, it, it comes in a, in a roll. Rolled up. Yeah, it's rolled up. Yeah, it's so rolled. that's what he meant. He's like, eat the whole roll, meaning eat the, learn the whole book, consume the whole knowledge. That's what he meant. But, yeah, you know. Scroll. And see how you broke that down? Yeah. If he was a real man, Lord, he should have broke down to his congregation. They do got a mega church. Right. But instead, what he did was, he sat there and pulled syrup like he made a whole mockery of it. That's yeah. what I said. Something bad gonna happen to do. Mm -hmm. He pulled syrup and whipped cream on the Bible and act like he about to eat it. And I'm there and they're laughing. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, man, you got troops in New York. You got all this serious stuff going. World War III about to pop off. And y'all listen to this nigga mm -hmm. make a straight mockery and a joke. And I'm like, everybody in that church, that congregation is dead. Right. They well, ain't this, about to make it. It's the same thing in the, in the um, Garden of Eden. When the Most High told them not to eat from the the tree of good and evil is yep. basically they wasn't like they uh they got it you know esau got him eating the apple but it wasn't nothing about actually putting anything in your mouth it's not to learn the ways of the people over there yeah yeah because that that's yeah. why and that's why that uh the christian church when it comes to the uh the garden of Eden, a lot of people think that adam and eve was the first two people on earth yeah but if you really read from the beginning the lord literally said in the genesis uh the what the, uh, i want to say one chapter the first chapter in the 26th verse what he said, let us make man and, and uh, and then he told him to go forth and multiply. It that was, was on the, it was on the fifth and day. And so, 
that's what he was talking about. So there was other people around Adam and Eve. They just didn't, you know, they just didn't have a name. It was just, it was just, Adam and Eve was the first people to, to receive the knowledge mm -hmm. from Yahweh about him, Yahweh Shai. That's what they were the first and people to do. And the spirit, the spirit yeah. Uh -huh. Remember he said he made, he created the male and female right. before he got to Adam and Eve. Uh -huh. You know? Yep, said, that's exactly. Yep. Break and, then he, and then he gave him a commandment and said, go forth and multiply. And uh -huh. so, and that went on for a thousand year period. So how many people you think was on earth before Adam and Eve? Hey, when they when they said uh, he made Eve from his rib, yeah. and he was and she was going to be the, you know, the bone of his bone and his flesh, that basically, if you read on into the Bible, that basically just means that you're gonna be from my family. Yeah. You know, so that lets you know that Eve didn't actually come from a rib that he took out of, you know, Adam's body, but she came from the same family line that he came from. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Same thing. She was made for him. Remember, she's a helpmate made for him. Yeah. Elder Elder Watson, Yashawama, and GMS Dallas, he broke it down perfectly. He got a ton of lectures about that. Yeah, he liked that one. He yeah. liked that. Yeah. So they said we get the correct breakdowns from the you know the real men of the Lord. Right. First they ain't playing they ain't getting they getting folly right now. You know, straight folly. Then right now you said what? Folly is selling great dignity. And the rich is in the the low yeah. place. Uh -huh. This is why we we're pretty much the rich that sit in the low place, because this is why they annoy us. You know? Mm -hmm. They wanna listen to the rich man, and he ain't giving them nothing, man. He giving them straight BS. Right. And then like I said. They can talk about the open up, man. You can like vividly feel it. So I'm like, everybody in there is spiritually dead. Cause if you had a look of sense, you like, man, hold up, man. I'm about to listen to them brothers on the block, man. They think they hitting on something. I'm actually learning something. Right. This dude here is doing a whole show. The right. world though, they want that though. They want smooth things. They want to be, be prophesied lies and deceit. That's the scripture said. Right. Nah, they want the entertainment, you know? But they gonna get it, man. But they can trouble here. It's gonna be like the greatest action movie. Never made it's gonna be war. Let's say this is war about to come out of this, right? And the war is on Jake. And Jake don't even know it. Let's say this dude got the church from the Edomite and they just been set up like a uh, straight snare or a trap. And the Lord, man, he set all that up, man. So a lot of Jake's ain't gonna make it. Right now it's like a uh, sip. You know, it's proven. It's proven ground. You know, who with me, who not with me. Those that's with me, they making the moves to clean themselves up. Those that's not with me, they in them churches, man. Get ready for the, you know, getting fattened up for the slaughter. They in there eating, literally eating food. You know, Keisha eating like, you know, ain't no tomorrow. You know, she get all the food stamps in the world. <laughs> hey, the, the, the one thing that, that really, you know, draws them to those hirelings like that is the stuff that we're talking about, it requires them to change. Yep. And that's the one thing that they don't want to do. They want to keep on you know, enjoying their sins because they, you know, they like what they get out of the sins that they're committing. But what we're telling them, do no, you got to turn it back to your Howard shop. You know, turn back to your Howard. But they, they don't want to drop the things of this world that they like to do. Crazy. They rather give up their salvation for that. That's a damn shame to me. And they're and they gonna feel it by pain. That's why right. so they're gonna know to fear the Lord. See, they don't fear the Lord. Really, they think everything we say, like man, y'all been saying that for years. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. I'm about to eat my pig feet. I'm about to go mess with little Ray Ray chick. I'm about to go sell me some drugs. And I'm about to do it all over again. Cause it make me feel good. Go ahead, all. But the one thing that they don't do, they haven't took the time out and, and read these scriptures and, and find out that the Most High is gonna put signs and wonders out here. It's gonna just that, that's what we, because we see that, we know that, okay, this is gonna happen in the end. He's gonna you know, crack these skies one day because we see the steps that he's taking to build up to that right. because we spent our time to pick up the Bible and read it for ourselves and get an understanding. But they haven't done that. So they haven't, they don't know that we're actually a watchman out here warning them that, you know, okay, this just happened and this is what it says in the Bible and this is gonna happen and, and so on. So they ain't following, they ain't tracking the progress that we are up until the day of the Lord. Just because they, they like this. They yeah. Ain't, they ain't reading the scriptures for themselves. That's why. Yeah. The fact, that, the fact that we even out here is a sign. Because what did the Lord do before he had destruction on any time? You know, before the Lord sent destruction on any kingdom, what did he do? He brought the prophets out there to prophesy. The downfall of the place. Uh, Noah. Yeah. That's like one of the first problems, Noah. 
And since you said that, I, I got a preacher to back you up with that. It's the second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He said, he answered me, then said, measure thou the time diligently in his tell, and when thou see a part of the sign pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. That's what we know. We're reading the sign. Like I said, we're looking at the prophecies. Those are the signs right there. You put it in the book. Like when you see this, when this happens, like that probably read early, when the fig tree casts off its timely figs, then you know what time it is. So Yahweh Shah's not going to come to us like a thief in the night. We're already watching. We're already waiting for it. Now, as far as the two thirds, because they're blind to it, you know, and Esau over there sharpening up a sword. That's why I'm looking at them like they crazy. Like, you don't see the devil sharpening up a sword, uh, making legislation. Like, he on here talking greasy about you in these little news clippings. Uh, but that's for you. Verse, verse <laughs> 3. It said, verse 3, it said, Therefore, when thou shalt, shalt be seen earthquake and upwards of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that it is most high spake of those things from the days where before this, even from the beginning. Haiti, Haiti done did a prison break. Haiti is like going straight crazy right now. Germany is protesting. Well, they got a farmer protest in Germany. You know, India is protesting their government. Everybody protesting their governments right now. And that's the uproars of the people and the earthquakes in diverse places, man. That's happening right now. All the major government, everybody rebelling. I'm looking for uh, Moab, China. They gonna start rebelling against their government too because they, they in a, a, a strong dictatorship, right. you know? See, these things is happening for a reason, but Jake ain't paying attention. Like I said, Jake, I tell Jake, man, Haiti over there rebelling. Uh, uh, Germany, they, nigga, I ain't heard that, man. I'm worried about, you know, All-Star game was whack. You know, they not even paying attention to it. But, like, you look at Wyon, uh, CNN, all them, man, they blasting it, like, all that. Bam, bam, bam. You got the war, uh, rumors of war. You know, Russia putting the finishing touches on Ukraine. They about to make their next move. They talking about that now. They got uh, NATO scrambling, doing military drills. They like, we don't know where we're going to strike next. And I'm looking at Jake like, man, you about to get touched in a minute. It's coming over here in a minute. Like, you supposed to press one button, cut the lights off. And hey, well, say uh, Russia did a cyber attack. China did a cyber attack. And then another thing where, where you said uh, that attack, again, that's going to be against us. Why do you think they went on a new, had a new conference and they said the greatest threat to Israel is the young black African-American people? Why you think they saying that? They ain't saying that for no reason. They're gearing up. They're chopping the sword like the just said. They're chopping the sword just to get Yasha Allah. All right? All right, they didn't point out the target. They said, a lot of Jakes ain't even know that they done said that. They ain't paying attention. They don't even know, like, it's like they like some uh, some cows or some pigs that's walking to the slaughter. Uh -huh. and about to get messed up. You know, we over and we telling them not to go in there. That's what make it bad. That's what the Lord don't, he ain't got no mercy on them. I set up prophets to tell you not to go there. You went there anyway. So that's on you. Because when they, they slam the door on them, they're going to be crying. Oh, I, I got did wrong. I, I ain't get a chance to, you know, it's not fair. It ain't, no, man, you clown my prophets. They told you. You want to listen to a person that never treated you right. You got all kind of evidence. You can just Google in your phone. He saw ain't never done right by you. Never. But yeah, you look at Jake, like I said, we ride on the highway hedges, man. Jake run around, ride bikes with Esau. You know, I'm like, man, they're going to leave your butt in the back alley. We ain't going to never hear about you again. Ain't like, we're going to purge right now. Uh, we got this dummy right here, you know. And it shows Jake, Jake ain't ready. But, you know, hey, we ain't worried about them. We do this for the whole we let. Because we got brothers and sisters that are paying attention. You know, that are uh, putting on their for like the elect. And that's why we do this right here. You know, and Lord willing, we are a part of that, and we all get that salvation. Because our Lord and Savior is coming back. Like, you can feel that, believe that. Y'all sure is coming back. And when he do, you know, what, what state are you going to be in? What's your state of mind going to be? What's your works going to be? You know, did you do anything for your high five, shot? Do you know his name? A lot of people don't. They're going to be hollering on Jesus, and they're going to get messed up. And we ain't gonna share the turn either. That's what you get. You know, you had all the opportunity to look for the Lord, but yet you look like, ah, oh, nah, I'm, I, I ain't worried about that. Well, I'm good. White man got me. His military got me. We all right. You know, 
And ain't nobody worse. I'm telling you, ain't nobody worse than old Evie. She's what they what the scriptures say. A woman that uh, is in pleasure, dead as she uh, as she living. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Evie's in straight pleasure right now, man. Yeah. They walking like it's getting warm out. They ain't got a care in the world. They living their best life right now. Living their best life. You know? They just got, we just got looked at her cheating like you stupid niggas. Yeah, they mean mugging the shit out of <laughs> Yeah, you stupid niggas. Yeah, I knew one of them too. I was like, one of them look familiar too. And I'm looking like shit, y'all about to get towed up, man. <laughs> He's about to snatch y'all up. Hey, like uh, Elder Baca was saying in Chicago all the time, you, the carousel about to ride you. And she don't even know. That rap song you say, you don't even know. Devil coming for you. And he was like, shoot, I'm good. My bills is paid. You know, Jacob's Trouble, man. That's where we at, man. Both of us have been calling this year the, uh, the year of Jacob's Trouble. And it looks sure like that. They said, we're going to see if we get close to November, election time. And it's going to be a hot summer. Everything is going to turn up and get crazy and crazy. We get to that, you know, that big event. Cause that's going to be fair. They might say no election. Trump can't win. That, that's going to make Esau go crazy. The gate. They get ready for that. They, they, they relief is in Trump. They don't let Trump be president. They, I'm loading up. You know, as soon as I see little John on the block, I'm lighting them up. Hey, it's crazy. his fault. Cause they really, they crazy because it really don't matter which way it go. If yeah, it's gonna be bad. It's going down. And if Trump become president, it's going down. <laughs> I was looking at something. They were saying uh, Trump tweeted to something that said he's gonna go to jail on Tuesday or something. And uh, uh, whenever he go to jail or something, uh, take back America or something, he already prepping him to do it. Yeah, see, it's already set up, man. Jacob Trouble is set up. So that's what we already warned you, like, get it together. So when it hits, you not scramble like a chick with your head cut off. Oh, my Lord, they out there shoot. They doing this, they doing that. Right. You got the children crying. Woman gonna be crying. No remedy in the house. He in there crying. We need help, man. My phone ain't working. You know, as far as the whole free we gonna, hey, it's gonna be like a walk in the park. Cause like, oh, the phones is on. Oh man, this ain't work. Oh, Jacob's trouble in play. Like y'all be quiet. Mm -hmm. Hey, sit over here and pray. We good. You know, we gonna be we gonna be moving in quietly in silence. We know what's happening. We not gonna be running. Like, hey, 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 hey. You be a rod on the hook, me. Ain't gonna ain't gonna turn you up. Okay, you, we talking about a time where. You know, during this time, it's gonna be so much trouble to where when you see somebody walk by, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna want to talk to that person. Yeah, but if you a scary person, though, you hey, hey, can you help me over there? Right, yeah. They go, oh, yeah, I'm gonna help you out. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, what you got you left. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they gonna be, hey, I'm glad you alerted me where you at. You know, uh, the troops gonna be like, they gonna take advantage of you. Yeah, report to this area. Right. Over this facility, you be good. You go over there, they gonna slam the door. And you been retrofitting with your Marco CHIP? You know, Jay gonna get messed up, and that's all because, hey, a lack of knowledge, man. They don't know what's going on. He didn't believe the calamity was coming. He didn't believe the destruction was coming. So when it comes, he's not gonna be ready. That's what he was called. What they call? I called him sleeping. I called him naked. That's how y'all shot gonna be doing. You know, how, like Jay gonna catch somebody. I called him sleeping, cause called him lacking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't paying attention. That's how y'all shot gonna catch him. Yeah, I called him sleeping, man. They weren't paying attention. As far as us, we're gonna be moving quietly. I don't want no military troops to see me during that time. Hell no, you the enemy. You know, I don't want to tell, hey man, come over here. I, I'm not gonna be hollering and making noise. You know, we're gonna be trying to keep our children and our old ladies quiet. You know, our wives quiet. Y'all be quiet, man. We can't let nobody see where we at. We moving silent, man. You know, backpacks on. They like said, we're gonna be quiet, have to take it to the woods. Pilgrims on the earth. God, scripture say. There's the times we're getting ready for. You gotta mentally get your mind ready for that. And that's hard for Eve. I know that's real hard for Eve. I think that's what, second edge <laughs> 13 and 40, I think. Yeah, even that like was on the earth. Way exactly. Way. Yeah, I, I see a lot of Eve's like, you about to tell we got going off woods. No, nah, I'm about to go to the, uh, the facility. <laughs> <laughs> they told we be safe. I'm not going over there. You, you on your own. I think the military, we, I pay taxes. It's our military. You know, he gonna hit with that. You got to hit your part. Us. Exactly. I'm a U.S. citizen. They wouldn't do me like that. Yeah, I mean, man, they gonna do you like that, man. Your brother, second race said they never loved you. Never loved you. 
Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get Eve off a sofa and go into a, a tent. Exactly. That shit gonna be. Ridiculous. I'm saying you gotta go in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, man, he's gonna be blowing snap bubble. Hey, some dudes might abandon their wives. Cause like, how are we supposed to be quiet? We supposed to be on the lockdown? You over hollering and crying and complaining. Nah, it's fighters in the woods. Nah, it's bugs over there. I can't do this. I think we need to go back to the cell. It hurt laying on this ground. Yeah, you not lead me right. I think we don't. The Lord said she gonna probably pull out a script try to cut you with it. Agree with your adversary. I agree with Esau. I'm going over here. I don't think you got where the Lord. I don't see your house shot yet. It's gonna be bad, man. As I said, a lot of ease, man. Hey, we got to abandon them suckers, man. You know, but your woman, hey, said she might have that lot spirit. He gonna be looking back. She's gonna be looking back. I think, you know, I think we'd be okay. You know, they said they'll give us water. All we gotta do now, I, well, they they're gonna bring that bishop Nate stuff. That's not the mark of the beast. Sin is the mark of the beast. Your apostle elders had it wrong. They would say, well, what IUSBK say? You think the Lord care about you getting a microchip in your body? You know? And he's going to remember that and bring that up. Hey, you know they're going to have the camp looking like a Holiday Inn on the, on the commercial. You know, when you get yeah, down he's there. Gonna, he's going to go to it, man. <laughs> he's going to be, hey, man, I'm going to that facility. Leave the light on for you. Go off in the woods. What? <laughs> Sleep on the ground. Nah, I can't do that. You know? You're gonna be good and good if you get her out to the woods. You just bringing up the plan. She gonna she gonna fold over at the plan. Even in the woods, you might not be good. She hollering in the woods. <laughs> give you position up. You can't get her to shut up. She in the woods just crying. It's it's a snake over there. It's, it's spiders and bugs. Man, in them days, I'm gonna have a smile on my face because man, that's gonna be like we were just saying earlier. That's another check on the list. That we getting close to the day of the Lord. Man. Yeah. You real close when we out there in the woods like that. Yeah. It cracked me up. You see, did y'all see that one Eve on the double back? She wanted to say so, but she did. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah, see, yeah, she yeah. coming back and she wanted to challenge. I was ready for her. Yeah. But she walked out. I think she felt like, nah, I'm about to get cut. The I'm about to get cut up. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it pushing. Cause y'all, I see she had to look. Look, she didn't. They didn't like what we were saying, and she wanted to double back. Yeah, cause that, cause and I was ready. I'm like, you about to be on this place. What we talking about? Because soon as you say his name is not Jesus, that's when she. They, 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 she yeah, double back, yeah. I, and I said it on purpose. I yeah. wanted to hit a soft spot. Like, yeah. I know y'all ain't part of it. Let me, let me, uh, you know, go through the spirit. And I wanted to see if she's gonna battle, but she thought about it, like, nah. She be at the crib talking about what she gonna do if she ever sees some Israelites. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking big, and she heard the cue. <laughs> She was about to go spring into action and said, no, oh, I ain't gonna say nah, that. She's like, ah, oh, spirit the truth, hey, the spirit flowing too hard over there. Cause she see, it don't work out on the people on the video. What she makes you think that, you know, you gonna do it live and in person. You ain't never seen nobody on the video talk to the prophets down. No, they all no, walk no. away with their tail between their legs. I seen them snickering at us. Oh, when she was pointing us and cheesing. Okay, when she okay. came around the bus and seen y'all, she was okay. already pointing. Yeah, yeah, was, oh, there goes okay. some right there. Yeah, they was clowning. That was looking at us down over there by Lippus. Oh, okay. And then walked over there. Then she clowning. They're like, I said, that, hey, hey, Jesus ain't going to save you. I see that. I see that in my periphery. She wanted to double back. So I was looking yeah, at her like, right at her too. I, 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 I want these right cuts. And she's like, nah, not today. Yeah, I'll mess your Sunday up, man. You ain't got it. Oh, she had a plan. Like Mike Texas, everybody got a plan until you get hit. You know, yeah, she had a, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say that. Yeah, she had obviously like, nah, nah. Then she came, she felt it, the spirit like, nah. They, they gonna show me as a fool, cause she is. Cause it's, it's the, the evidence is overwhelming right now. The evidence is way overwhelming. If you come against this right now, you are a certified fool. And I like, hey, I'm like, you can come if you want to. You know, it's too much going on. Can't just prove it. Esau ain't got it no more. He done lost it. This devil panicking. You know? So hey, you ain't got a leg to stand on, E. What they should do is instead of you know, coming up what they think they gonna do, they should be formalizing questions to get further they education take on. They take witness to that. He ain't got it. He was rolling up under Esau. So if you wanna look at it, I wanna go back to it. Most of these are like
like that. I ran into a lot like that. They try to combat you. Then once you once they realize it ain't working, then they want to consider. They like, oh well, and then look it up and learn, and then like, oh well, you might have been right. And then, then they'll try to come into it, but at first they ain't gonna just come and humble themselves under a man. They're gonna try to combat you. Every time, they're gonna combat it. They're gonna look for holes in it, and they're gonna come in there, because that's like, that's their Willie Lynch. They've been taught that. Yeah. The black man ain't nothing. So whatever he's saying is not legitimate, so I'm gonna come with Esau's uh, pseudoscience and try to combat what he's saying. Then they find, oh shit, my man do got wisdom. I feel real dumb. Then they feel dumb. They do that like, like I say, they'll come up and they do that like silent stuff. They act like they with it, but still they trying to nitpick. And that showed me you were never with it. You just you rolling with it, you can't defeat it. But now at the same time, you're trying to get me to come up out of it. Cause you can't beat me in my pose. Now I'm in my order. Which is part now of I'm what y'all yeah. told me to be. Yeah, why? This is why the apostle and the elders said not to mess with it. Really, they, they're against her, cause they on Esau's side regardless. Yeah. Exactly. They, they like a uh, informant for Esau. A exactly. double agent. Yeah. And they'll act like they in it, but they really ain't in it. You heard certain little stuff they say like, oh man, you ain't in this truth, man. You just, you know, it's a fab right now. Man, I could throw me on a little head wrap and a, you know, but they'll say little certain stuff let you know like they ain't really ready for that. Like I'll say, shoot. Hey, when Jacob Trouble really hit? Oh, man. He gonna turn into a straight little girl. I think almost most of all of them gonna turn into little girls. You know? And then you tell me we gotta go off in the woods, baby. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you back to the party at that time. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You gotta leave her behind. You gotta leave her behind. She ain't going off in the woods, man. Yeah. I know Eve, they the fly get in the house. Or, yeah. On Moth, they going hey, crazy. Yeah, you really you going back in the wilderness. Uh, how, many, how many of you think we'll really go hiking? And, like, you can text them right now. Like, hey, hey, baby, we're we gonna, we gonna go on a trip, let's go hike. I guarantee you they're gonna, they gonna think twice about it. God. Oh, yeah. I, I can't. They get rid of your quiches. Yeah. Now that your uh, ones that like to work out, yeah. if it's a nice hike, a nice trail, they'll go on that. Yeah. They'll go on that. But when you say, let's go, like, hike so somewhere, wool, yeah, wool, ain't wool, no wool, craft, wool. nothing. Yeah, where, ain't no way you get the bathroom or nothing. <laughs> like, you gotta, you gotta have your toilet screen. Yeah, it might be a, cool, a, a mountain line or something yeah. out here. Yeah, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna say we need to go to where the paths is at, you know, where everybody else is hiking. Yeah. You crazy to go off in the woods like that. They ain't gonna wanna do that. Like I said, that's a good test, that's a limit test right there. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna do it. Unless sleep outside in our sleeping bags, they ain't about to do that. No man. So and then like that's why we can't be so like a possible other say, you can't be so attached to your woman. You gotta be like lot. You gotta lead that. I mean you gotta be like uh yeah, yeah, lot. You gotta lead your woman. You know, if she want to look back or she want to stay, you got to be ready to go. And that's going to be a limit test for a lot of dudes that say they ain't the truth, uh -huh. especially these other camps. They, I can't leave my queen. That's a precept that says, my uh, baby. Apostle, Apostle Paul. Yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. Uh, if you have, uh, those who have a wife in those days, be as they never said that. Don't have none. Yep. <laughs> Loosely paraphrased. Got to yep. be like that. You know, and, oh, they hate that precept. You're yeah. telling me that precept. No, I don't really mean that. Uh, it don't really be what it's saying. I'm like, hey man, it said at the end, I need to act like I have no wife. So if you give me rebuttal and I can't do this, and you want to cock an attitude, hey, cop deuces real quick. <laughs> I ain't got time. We, we know what time it is. They said a lot of, hey, middle of we are prepared for that. We ain't got time for that, man. Because if she ain't looking sense, she'd be okay, baby. Where we going? She'd be clinging to you like, like you know, that like that's your daughter or something. I'm gonna be quiet. My man said go this way. Almost like a military, you know, we gonna be running. You gonna be signaling. You gotta be quiet, man. But this case, if you really think about it, man, there in a dangerous time, uh, cause you got, if, when you arguing back and forth in it with a woman, it, it, it wastes a lot of time. Like that you, like if you ever been in that argument, you realize it was seven o'clock when y'all started arguing, and then it felt like y'all just been arguing 30 minutes, but now it's one o'clock in the morning. I wait too much time. You see what I'm saying? So, so it's just like surrounded you. Exactly. Yeah. You ain't yeah. paying attention. Yeah. You can't be circumspect. You got your attention you pissing you off. This devil, he got the gun pointed. I need y'all to report over here. Man, like, help you done got us clipped up, man. man. See, that's that's the point. So, if you got somebody that combative like that, you might you might as well let her go because during that time, when Darren Jacobs trouble, y'all ain't gonna have time to be arguing and trying to figure out what to do. No, y'all need to. Be as pilgrims out the earth that the scripture said. You need to follow that scripture. Be as pilgrims on the earth during that time. If you don't agree with that, 
be at that, just like a pot Paul said, be at though you, have, you ain't have no wife. You ain't no wife, man. That's just gonna be literal. He hate that. You back out, leave. They ain't that Tyler Perry spirit, man. man. We ain't got that spirit. Because yeah, that, that doing all that arguing, bickering back and forth, that's dangerous in itself. It is. It's gonna be in them times. Yeah. You're gonna need to be quiet in them times, man. You might need, like, we gotta be like football signals. That's you know it. what I'm saying? Go that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to be our new signal. We ain't got time. Pissed up home. Yeah. Pissed up. You got to. You know what I'm saying? You got to be like that. You know, that time. You ain't got time. Yeah, you ain't got time to loud my stuff. They're going to help us. You been ignorant. Hey, your perfect example of that situation. Is a um, Jeff Hardy movie about Harry Tubman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, your perfect example of that situation is a uh, movie by Harriet Tubman when she getting them slaves. They wasn't arguing with Harriet about which way to go. They was on him. every move when she said, hold it, they stopped, you know? And that's the situation you're gonna have to be in. Uh, you can't good, have that's no- good, That's good, good analogy yeah. right there, perfect it example. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's gonna be, you, you can't be, this ain't up for discussion, you know? And I bet they love to follow Harriet here and they follow the woman. Yeah. Give it a jig, uh, it's gonna be arguing. Like, hey, but that's a good test. That's how you're going to test some of these women. Can you follow a man? Can you really get in order? Right. No, that's you follow a woman. Hey, I'm gonna let all y'all get clipped up because she gonna mess up in a minute. Yeah. You know that like it's gonna be way worse than Harry Tubman days. This Jacob Trouble said no day gonna be like this. It's gonna be way worse than them times. That was bad. That was Edomites running around with guns. You know, runaway slave. This is gonna be even worse. Yeah, I, I said it before. It's gonna be a time where no, no, it, it have not been historically recorded. So, Darren, Darren Jacobs' trouble. Nobody's gonna know what it's gonna be like. That thing two of the one. Yep. Nah. So it, it, it's gonna be real bad out here, man. But hey, we prepare for it. We know about it. That's why you know it was in our book, written for our learning, so we can mention prepare for it. So when it hits, we're not gonna react the same way people in the world react. It's gonna be a calmness to us. We already know what it is. We already know what the deal is. We've been waiting on Esau to do it. We already mad at this devil dragging his feet. We like, push the button, devil. God dang, what you just take you all so long? You got everything set up, go ahead, go with it. The world, they ain't, they ain't, people in the world ain't thinking like that. They like, shit, I'm trying to get my business off the ground. You know, I got a 401k I want to pull out in about 20 years. You know, and then when it hit, they not gonna be ready. Yeah, that's like, if you see a punch coming and you can take it, if you see a punch coming and you get hit by it, you can brace it. But if you see, uh, if you don't see that punch coming, you're going to get knocked out. Knocked out. Uh, that's going to lead to your grave that time. You know? So did we say I am my prison? I my prison. So with that being said, maybe we'll be edifying. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. 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 Yahweh.